made. Now, did we do much hiking besides that? Not too much. And then this is a, a one of the Santas out of the driftwood that he made. He's made many, many of these faces and stuff out of the driftwood. Then, uh, of course, we always had to, made me a snowman. I love snowmen. And then, I said, why don't you make me a jack-in-the-box? So I, I love the purple color in that. And that was one, this is one of my favorite colored ones. Then uh, my, my son and son-in-law started carving. And so uh, this is one my son made a few years ago for my husband. He's sitting in his recliner carving. And uh, yeah, Vic usually, he'd sit in the, the recliner and carve, but he usually kept the sheet over him for all the wood chips. Now, when we, when our, uh, three of our grandchildren were little, they lived in the same town, and so they would come over around Christmas time, and they always came over to the one chair to look to see if they saw wood chips. So that was one reason why he kept a, a, a sheet over the, over the chair, so they wouldn't see the wood chips, but they wanted to know if he was carving. They looked forward every year to their carving. Um, my son, uh, when I, I would go to Florida in the winter for a couple of months, and he carved me a Florida map, and then he put me about where I was down there. <laughs> and then my son-in-law, I got a golf cart about three or four years ago, and uh, it was an easy go, and he made me the golf cart. Uh, did this and painted on it and then should I tell them? so the, he put the easy go and everything on there but he had the logo on the front I'm <laughs> where it came from it came from actually we, I bought it in Monticello and these uh, this these guys that sell golf carts they had gotten some from the East Coast from a, a golf course on the East Coast and it happened to be a uh, a Trump resort and so he put the in front so uh, I've got many other ones but I'm not going to talk about them right now I'll just mention them later but um, I think um, well one year I one year I wanted uh, carolers I thought these were really cute and uh, he did an angel for me and uh, I think, you know, I've got a bunch of other ones here, but we'll talk about those later. And I think right now I can start putting carvings on the tree and we'll, we'll go from there. Usually I, usually I put this tractor kind of up here in the front. Here. Whoops. It didn't break. Thank goodness. <laughs> Hook her on right here. Because of a lot of a lot of the grandkids come and read that note that Dick wrote to me. And I like the sailboat, I think that's pretty cool. I didn't actually sail too much because I wasn't a very good sailor, but he was a very good sailor, so he always went with me. And uh, he was better at sailing than me. But I loved, I loved to go in the boat. There. And so we'll put, well, we gotta put these fishermen right here in the front. an artificial tree you can kind of point them the direction you want. That's one good thing about it. Let's see here. Put this one right here. And 
this goes with the story to uh, my husband always called these anaconda chairs <laughs> which everybody got a kick out of Put the carolers over here Got another tree then I, I put uh, I put a lot of my son and grand and uh, son-in-law's carvings on because I've got so many to fit in the front here so but this is this kind of goes with story too uh, one Christmas um, I was putting trying to get everything on there and my husband he he at that time he was pretty ill and uh, he saw I was putting other carvings on besides his, not all his. And so, well, like that. And I said, what do you mean? He's, I said, you only want your carvings on this tree. So that, it was very funny. And uh, so I took the other carvings off and I'm putting them on another tree over here. If you've ever uh, been around dementia, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, that'll be in another video. I want to talk about dementia and how, how people, what people do with dementia. How they react and I love the colors on this. The purple. Get up there, can you, David? Show that up there, probably not. Where I keep uh, up there, I have um, carvings that my husband started and he didn't get finished, and I I really like them, so I put them in that box or that fishing basket, and I just keep them up there all the time. I think it really looks nice. Reminds me that he didn't quite get finished. here. Gotta always have the hikers together, the carolers together. If you ever get to Virginia, of course they have a lot of places to hike, but that roaring run was really a nice, that's north of uh, Roanoke. Fairy Garden. Alamo Bowl. Maybe they'll go to a bowl next year. This little uh, ladybug, one year I was telling my husband, I said, you know, we don't have very many ladybugs anymore, actual ladybugs. And so he said, well, you know, that would make a nice carving. So anyhow, he made me a ladybug. Even though I didn't have many in my garden, I got one for the tree. get this train on here. Now I know um, a couple of our grandsons he carved trains for and he's got the log train, the engine, the caboose, the passenger car. He made a lot of passenger cars and I know that's something that they'll always have. They don't they don't disintegrate.
start getting some up higher. I'm gonna take a drink. Just ice water. It's good. Okay, let's get this up here. Yellow for the sun. hang some back in and in between it doesn't make any difference you don't have to have them all hanging out to the side there's a mr. and mrs. Santa Claus I say Santa Claus it's Santa Claus but I hear the the uh, old Gene Autry record you know on the on the radio where he sang here comes Santa Claus well this reminds me of my great-grandfather and my father and my grandfather uh, how they used to call Santa Claus. And Gene Autry, that's what he did. It's kind of an old figure of speech. I mean, I think it's kind of from the German type. I mean, you know, it, it just, it, it sounds funny, but that's what they always said, Santa Claus. And it just brings back memories when I hear Gene Autry saying, here comes Santa Claus, Santa Claus. I actually had that record, that big old record, the 78. And uh, my one grandson, he he loved the 78s. And I said, well, I'll give you, if you want those, you can have them. Because I did wasn't playing them or anything. And I think he plays them once in a while. Well, I had uh, Tijuana Brass and all them, you know. But not just Gene Autry. See, I'll have to get my ladder out of here. I keep this in the corner here of my sunroom and uh, just keep it back in the corner so I don't decorate the back, which is good. The kitty cats go together. I told him I will. The, the year he carved these, I said, I want my kitty cat in blue jeans. He made his in green. 